uh, perhaps you can clarify for us uh, that is everything we said is right right <laughs> <laughs> well i believe it is right however um artichokes were voted the official food and uh oh. lieutenant governor newsom uh in deference to a lot of the other commodities uh decided that we would be the official vegetable oh so we'll, we're satisfied with vegetable. <laughs> we, we, we think that it really suits California because artichokes are sort of, you know, tough looking on the outside, strong, but really have a great heart on the inside. So, <laughs> oh, I love that. That's true. Are, are you still on a regular basis encountering people who don't even know what an artichoke is? I would say that... Um, 60% of the U.S. population doesn't know what an artichoke is. Wow. That's amazing and to o- me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, o- oftentimes they confuse it with the Jerusalem artichoke, which is a root vegetable. Oh. So we've got all kinds of confusion out there. Interesting. Well, uh, I'm someone that even hosts a <laughs> farmer's market show, <laughs> and I didn't realize that the Jer- Jerusalem artichoke and the artichoke were two different species. I mean, two different, yeah. like completely different. Uh, wow. They, they definitely are. Jerusalem artichokes are root vegetable, uh, sort of like a sunflower uh, grows off them, and the root is the edible portion. Oh. It's an American vegetable, mm-hmm. whereas artichokes uh, were brought in by those romantic people like the, the Italians and the Spanish and, you know, such as that. So, sure uh, flourishes here, though. Yes, uh, we have that Mediterranean climate right along the central coast here, which is uh, all that an artichoke needs. It doesn't need weather that's hot, and it doesn't need weather that's really cold. It doesn't need too much rain, doesn't need too much sun. It sort of likes that dull gray stuff. (laughs) Perfect for where it grows in Watsonville and Gastro. Exactly, for where it's it's thriving. (laughs) So now that it's been elevated to being the state vegetable, um, do you think this is going to have any influence over, like, marketing and and those kinds of things? Is it going to give the artichoke a boost? Well, we certainly hope so. It's folks like you that are going to give it the boost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we find uh, a lot of interest in, in, in the fact that we've got an official vegetable. Mm-hmm. Uh, you did know that we were the official vegetable of Monterey County. Oh, I assumed, yeah. That makes sense. So, yeah, that was, yeah, that was done in about 1985. And so uh, California's a little bit behind Monterey. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Well, the artichoke, it's its nothing new. I mean, uh, Marilyn Monroe was the artichoke queen uh, well before she even became a movie star. So that tells you it goes back quite some time. Uh, well, yes. Right? Yes, she, she was a starlet in 1948. And the artichoke growers who know a good thing when they see it decided... <laughs> They're smart. <laughs> yeah, decided that she would be perfect as an artichoke queen. Of course, uh, you know, we, little did we know that uh, she was going to become the fantastic star that she did. And I, once again, we hitched it to the right star. That was smart. I love it. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Uh, we are bringing, we're gonna, Pat, we're going to have you stay on the line during the commercial break. And then we're going to talk about, because we're entering artichoke season. Mm-hmm. So we'll talk about how do you pick a good one. And what do you do with it after you got it? And then we'll talk a little bit about the big event coming up next month to celebrate Mm. the artichoke there in Monterey County. You're listening to the Eat, Trick, Explore Radio Network. We're back in just a moment. All right, you know what? Uh, I forgot from last week. (laughs) (laughs) That we had this issue? (laughs) Yeah, and uh, I apologize to our affiliates that um, we... (laughs) 
<laughs> we forgot to refill the commercial break uh, during here. The it does start up again in just uh, less than a minute. Okay. But, uh, we have to do a little tap dancing. So here should we meantime. have a quiz? Yeah, quickly, Patty. What is the? Uh, <laughs> you were asking me. What's the state fish? The state fish. Yes. Do you know? The well, now I do. Golden trout. Oh yeah, golden trout. Did I say that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I did only. Yeah. How about the state flower? The California poppy. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, state folk dance. The West Coast swing. That's the state dance. The state oh. folk dance is square dance. Uh, we in have California? Two, we have two dances. <laughs> what about the state rock? The state rock uh, is serpentine. Yes. Or it's actually, we call it serpentine, but it's a serpentinite is what I'm told by geologists. That oh, we al- okay. That we always miss say it. Do you know that we have a state fossil? No. Yes. Can you guess it? Quick. A saber-toothed cat. Oh, that's right. And, and it was found <laughs> outside of San Diego. Uh, I know that much. Uh, that's it, yeah. Patty. We're back in two minutes. The Eat Trick Explore Media Radio Show you are currently enjoying is in a local affiliate commercial break. Live programming will return shortly. Did you know you can watch a live video simulcast of our Sunday morning and Thursday evening shows from your computer, smartphone, or tablet device? And to top it off, it's free. Simply head to eatdrinkexplore.com or download our free app from the Google Play or Apple App Store. If you have a suggestion for an upcoming guest segment, send an email to radio at eatdrinkexplore.com. We're always looking for fresh ideas, including yours. We love to share fresh, local, organic, seasonal, and sustainable ideas throughout the week. And the best place to find those are on our Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook feeds. Our username across the social networking universe is simple. Eat, drink, explore, all one word. Hey, college students, Eat, Drink, Explore Media is always looking for qualified journalism or marketing interns. Send us an email today so we can check your status and put you on the list for upcoming intern vacancies. Would you like to hear this Eat, Drink, Explore radio program on one of your local radio stations? Let the station know and contact us as well so we can get the ball rolling. Okay, you made it. The local affiliate commercial break is now over. Time for more informative and entertaining programming from Eat, Drink, Explore Media. Thank you for your patience. Do you hear the bird chirping, Patty? Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Good morning, everyone. Great to have you with us. Uh, You are listening to the Eat, Drink, Explore Radio Network. I'm your host, Randall White, joined by the lovely, talented Patty Pyburn. And speaking of tweeting, I highly recommend that you check out our Twitter feed, uh, which grows constantly. We're almost at 2,500 followers now. Uh, It is real simple. Twitter.com slash eat drink explore and we don't just tweet our own things like some people do we retweet things we think you'll find interesting uh from a wide variety of uh organizations most of them here in california some of them outside the state but uh it's a rich source of information so uh twitter.com slash eat drink explore we think you'll like it all right 20 minutes now past the hour we're talking artichokes california artichokes the official state vegetable now (laughs) here in the state and uh, we're joined by pat hopper she is with the california artichoke advisory board you can find them online artichokes.org pat welcome back to the program well thank you very kindly is there a oh go ahead you were going to say i just interrupted you I'm all set and ready to go. Uh, oh, good. Tell you about the, <laughs> <laughs> we got lots of season. lots of questions for you. Yeah, I'm curious. Oh, okay. Is there a trick to um, buying an artichoke? I always just look for the biggest one. <laughs> if they sell them, you know, like if <laughs> right. it's a dollar or two dollars a piece, whatever. Uh, I always just look for the largest one. But should I be looking for something else, like coloring in the skin, the length of the stem, stuff like that? Well, you know, um, there are so many variables. It depends upon what you want to do with your artichoke. I, myself, uh, prefer the artichokes of the smaller size. 
because mm-hmm. you can really work with those. You can trim them down to hearts very easily and uh, also steam them like you would a big artichoke. So um, it depends upon what you want to do. Now, as to color, very often artichokes vary according to the time of the year because mm-hmm. the sun affects them, uh, what little we get of it, and um, it also um, makes the artichoke a different shape. Like a- In the spring... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say the color. Uh, you sometimes you see some purple, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, you'll find you'll more purple during the um, summer and early fall months okay. with a green globe artichoke. Now there are other artichokes out there that are purple. There's a gorgeous purple artichoke out there, and uh, you know it, it will never never be green. Um, <clears throat> I find that with the old-fashioned green globe artichoke, that's the one that was grown here and is grown here uh, since the Italians brought it over in the 1840s in the gold rush. Mm -hmm. And uh, this artichoke uh, will be sort of really globe-shaped in in the spring uh, and late winter, all nice and fat and plump. And in the summertime, it'll be more conical in shape. You know, mm. it wants to sprout up towards the sun, and its <clears throat> petals open up a little bit. So it's uh, a little looser. Side. Interesting. Hey, Pat, I have a question for you. With those mm-hmm. smaller artichokes, do they have less of that stickery, thistly, um, spiky stuff in the middle? Well, a little artichoke, which we call a baby artichoke, mm-hmm. which is a misnomer because it'll bloom before it gets any bigger, um, the, its size is determined by where it is on the plant. So you've got those little baby artichokes hiding down inside the plant. Mm-hmm. And these guys <clears throat> are picked before they would start to blossom. And an artichoke, when it blossoms, has that, you know, that fuzzy stuff that's in the center yes. of a big artichoke? That you yes. can choke on if you don't get rid of it. Uh-oh, shame on you. Ah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I was told that you could. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, uh, it's sort of like this, Randall. Uh, if you chew on your own hair, you sort of don't like it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> point. <what> like. yeah. <laughs> you don't try to swollow that. Then this is this is hair-like, so you really don't swallow that either. I know. think of uh, it the same way I think of that little thing that's at the base of the banana. I was just yeah. told by my parents, don't, <laughs> don't eat ever, it. Don't ever eat that. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, back to that baby artichoke. Yes, um, the inside of a baby artichoke is completely edible. You know those things in cans called artichoke hearts? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. They come from little artichokes, not big artichokes. Oh. So you'll notice in those, if, if you get a whole one or a half of one, you'll see that tiny little, tiny bit of fuzz at the bottom. It's completely edible. I, it's it, soft and tender. I yeah. was told by a grower in the Lompoc region at a farmer's market in uh, Templeton that told me she had some of those baby artichokes out, and uh, she said, you can stir fry these and uh, eat the whole thing. And I was like, wow, that's great. So I was going to ask that same question, Patty. About, about the little spiny things inside. Yeah. Now, well, Pat- when, you say, when you say the whole thing, uh, no, you can't eat those hard uh, petals on the outside. Oh, okay. You, prob- you have to strip off a couple of, uh, maybe a layer of those outer petals. And then you cut the top of the artichoke off, you know, because that's, that's hard green. With an artichoke, anything that's green, dark green, mm-hmm. is inedible. Anything pale green and yellow is edible, unless it's the hairy-like fuzz, okay? Right. Uh, the big artichoke. Okay. Purple and green are not edible. I bought a huge artichoke at the farmer's market a couple of weeks ago, and it had an enormously long stem that was uh, really a uh, good size in mm-hmm. diameter. I want to say more than an inch in diameter. And uh, the woman told me, you can eat that whole stem. It's an extension of the heart. And I was wow. like, really? So I popped it in the pressure cooker because that's how, I, with a little olive oil, yeah. that's how I was taught to make them. And uh, sure enough, I could eat that whole stem and it tasted just like the heart and it was delicious. There was a little bit of fiberiness on the direct outside, outside layer. So maybe mm-hmm. if I had just pulled away like or shaved away a, labor, mm-hmm. a layer or so, but it was, it was like the, it was that's like an extension it. of the heart. Uh, Randall, yeah. that's it. What you have to do is peel it like you would broccoli. Mm, okay. Oh, okay. Broccoli stem, mm-hmm. you just peel off that hard green. Remember the dark green is going to be tough and fibrous. So you peel that off and yes, um, a thick stem is a blessing. You know, when you get a good stem, you can just peel it and eat it like the heart Yum. of the artichoke. Because normally people in- trim that off so they sit up nicely on the plate when you serve them. Right. They get rid of the yeah. best part. Who knew? Well, if, <laughs> if you serve them upside down on a plate, you cut the top off, you know, because the, the top... Serve of them the, the other artichoke, way. Yeah, uh, serve them upside down with the stem up. 
And then as you pull the petals off, you pull them up the stem, and that peels the stem. Oh, okay. So smart. No wonder we have the expert on. She's got all the, <laughs> the information. <laughs> you know, um, as Americans, we tend to, like, almost eat more mayonnaise than we do artichoke <laughs> as we're eating it. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> I've been I've been using hummus lately in place, oh, of, that's good. In place of mayonnaise, because mm-hmm. I figure they come from the same part of the world, so they must... Uh, I like a little balsamic reduction. Ooh, that would oh. be good. That's mm. a good one. That's a good one. Pat, do you have you a know, recommendation? Uh, well, Ooh. if you're if you're an East Coaster, you do all kinds of strange things with butter. Oh yeah. And here on the West Coast, we do strange things with mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, my, my uh, you know, they mix everything with mayonnaise. One of the best things is a soy sauce with mayonnaise. Oh, I bet that would yeah. be. Ooh, that would be good. I have a lot of that. And our in yeah, uh, our um, Anthony over here our says audio guy. yogurt and honey and Dijon mustard. Is that was that your sure. combo for dipping? Oh, yeah. Sure. A little, and a little white z- vinegar to season it. So, uh, huh. Mm. That, I like yeah. that idea. Okay, we have about a minute left, Pat, to talk about the big event that comes up uh, next month there in Castroville. It's the annual Artichoke Festival. May the 19th and 20th. And this year, we're really going to celebrate, celebrate our first year as the official vegetable of California. We're pulling out all the stops. We're going to have artichokes prepared every which way for you. Uh, one of our favorites is as a pasta sauce. We use artichokes as a pasta sauce. Mm-hmm. And also, um, we're going to have demonstrations for people that don't know how to handle artichokes <laughs> and show them, <laughs> show them everything that you can do. Uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun. We're going to grill them. We're going to have a parade. We're going to have uh, wine tasting. We're artichoke art. All kinds of, oh, yes, agro art. we got all kinds of vegetables and artichokes put together making 3D art. <laughs> it's a hoot. You'll and love it. Pat, isn't that um, the restaurant there? I can't think of the name of it. It's probably very um, obvious. With the oh, giant in, artichoke? With the giant artichoke uh, in Castroville. Artichoke. Yes, you can come get your picture taken in front of the giant artichoke. When I, li- <laughs> when I lived up there, that's where we always took anyone who was visiting. We went did the tours thing went right to the giant artichoke (laughs) i love it well we have do come to our festival (laughs) absolutely pat we have uh i should mention pat hopper california artichoke advisory board we have a link at eatdrinkexplore.com to your website as well as the artichoke festival uh which i think is like artichokefestival.org or is that right (laughs) You're close. I think that'll get there. Yeah. Google it. Right. Pat, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. Thank you, Wendell. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. All right. Take care. Stick around.